in this video we are going to learn about uh, data model review and then uh, we will also do the data setup for our uh, partner management app so uh, in the last video we talked about uh, how to set up the base code that involves all the tabs uh, the application the the objects that are needed to build the application right uh, so in this in this video we will just take a deep dive and then see what different custom fields are used what different custom objects are used and see how we can uh, import or how we can create a test data for our application so i'll go back to the app go back to the org first yeah so we managed to get the base component deployed right base components deployed all the base uh, code deployed so the, there are three uh, there are two custom objects that we are going to use uh, uh, in this uh, in this application for building this application and there are bunch of custom fields so the two custom objects are partner type and partner performance review and we are using our standard account object to manage all the all the information about uh, the partner accounts so as you can just see all these are you know partner account partner active pipeline partner budget contract started end date geolocation every every uh, uh, custom field manages to store some information about the partner account and we also have partner type because our intention is to manage different partners types for our organization right be it a marketing partner sales partner legal partners etc so we need to have a, a, a custom table that holds all the different partner types so there is a custom uh, you know object for that and then after uh, after a salesperson or a marketing person work with a partner it is possible for a sales team to provide a feedback about how that partnership you know did go how did they complete the project is there good learnings about the partner right so for which we are managing a separate uh, object called partner custom object called partner performance review there is a relationship master child relationship so for each partner that could be you know one or more reviews from the sales team yeah, so there is a relationship and uh, yeah so you will also have uh, a lookup relationship with contact just give me a minute let me just pull that as well yeah so i've just added the contact object as well in the schema builder and as you can just see for every partner account there is a primary point of contact this is basically a contact uh, in our system in our organization so you can just see this right there is a lookup relationship between account and the account and uh, the contact so we are managing the primary point of contact so there is a lookup relationship and yes partner type as i just uh, indicated before it, it helps to manage different partners and there is a lookup relationship as well so this is you know the data model for our uh, partner uh, management app so as a next step let's start adding sample data so that we can just start you know building our lightning web components uh, if i go back to the partner management app uh, there is there is already a list view created uh, with the name um, partner accounts so this list view will support will, will show all the partner accounts created in our application all the partner accounts uh, or the sample data basically created in our application so right now there is no data and which we are going to you know we are going to do something to uh, get the sample data added into the org okay so precisely uh, there are multiple ways to do it but in this video we are going to uh, use sftx commands we are going to see how sftx uh, tree commands to import data for our sample data for our uh, application right let's head back to our uh, readme file right so this is the code builder readme file and what you can just see this right there are there are there is a there is a command called data tree so if you are using uh, a mac then you will have you can use this bash command if you are using uh, uh, your uh, windows operating system or if you're good at using powershell go with this particular format only difference is you know the 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 forward slash and backward slash pretty much this is the command that we have to use so uh, there are there are two types of commands uh, three commands in salesforce sftx one is import and export so export as the name indicates you can use this tree command to export some data from an org and then once the data is exported it will store as a json file so as you can just see these are the different partner accounts 
the sample data basically yeah i've already done this export so in our case we can just simply import this data yeah you can just see all these are all these are you know partner accounts and you can just see contacts information etc yeah and also you can just see um, you can just see you know the different partner types that we wanted to use it in our sample application so that's pretty much you know that's pretty much about that export and uh, import this is very simple to use it what we can do is for example let's start with importing our uh, partner types yeah let's go with that so i'll use this bash format copy and then let's go to the terminal and let me just paste this one i think i need to give the org name Okay, as you can just see, so this is a simple force data tree import command and ifnp p indicates the path where the JSON file is located because this is the JSON file that manages all the data, isn't it? Ifn u is a, is a parameter to indicate to which org you want to deploy this or you want to import this data to. In our case, our org allies name is prm dev org as you can just see right in the below. Yeah, so let's add this and then hit enter. And see what happens perfect now the data got you know data got added right so the partner types have been added or imported to the org let's try to do the same for accounts and contacts so i'll copy this one and then put it right here okay again i'll have to go back and then change the org alias name Let's wait for this to complete. Yes, as you can just see, there are a bunch of accounts imported and also the related contacts. Let's go back to the org and then cross check. So back in the org, I'll go to the yeah, I'll go to this accounts. First, let's use the partner accounts. Now you can just see this, right? There are uh, list of accounts uh, added. I think uh, I ran that command twice. I, that's the reason I can just see some um, duplicate accounts added, right? So let me let me do this. Let me just correct the data. But the key part of this, uh, you know, of this one is um, you manage to you know learn how to use import free command, you know, and then simply import the sample records right so in the next video we'll just start with uh, creating our lightning web components because we have the base code available we have the sample data available so as a next step let's start building the lightning web components and then take it forward